My name's Natalia and last week you all decided that I should create another Christmas card. So here it is. And as you can see the Christmas bubble. 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 Ball is floating in this card. It looks quite difficult to create but I guarantee you it's very very easy. Now you decide what I should create next week by voting in the card above. And let's begin. Here's what you need to create this card. <laughs> Now take your card and then fold it in half. Place your ruler on the middle score at 5 cm, then make a mark at 0 and 10 cm. Create a line downwards from these markings. Place your ruler on the lines and then bend the paper over it. Place your fingers like this and then push the two sides together, creating this fold. Then take the middle part and then fold it onto each side of the paper. The card should now look like a W. Fold the middle part onto one side, then take a ruler, then find the middle and then make a mark. And from this marking, make a line outward to one of the sides. Take a compass and then measure 4 or 5 centimeters. And you decide how far out you want to place your compass on this line. The distance on the line decides how big your half circle is going to be. Just don't make a half circle too close to this fold here. Now place your compass on the line and then create the half circle. This one is 4 cm and this one is 5 cm. You decide which one you like the most, then cut the half circle out. Erase all of the pencil markings you've created. Then go online and then find the image of a Christmas bauble or a gift or whatever kind of image you want to put in the card. When you've found your image, take your card and then just see if they fit size-wise. If they don't, just make the image larger until it does. Either print this image out or make your screen brighter and then place a regular piece of paper right on top and then start sketching around the image very gently. And then cut it out. Place the stencil on some decorative paper and then sketch around it. Take the paper with the stencil then bend it so the stencil is still visible. Place the stencil right on top and then secure it with some tape. And you really need to make sure that it's secured for the next step, which is carving out any details on your image. This does require some patience and a steady hand, but for me this was therapeutic and I actually liked it. Now while the stencil is still attached, cut around it. And now you should have two equally beautiful and equally sized bubbles. We need to attach the bubbles to the acetate. So measure the width and the length of this inner piece and cut a piece of acetate out with this measurement. Turn the card around and then put some glue all over the insides of the card. Place your acetate on the card on one of the sides. Glue the middle piece together by closing it up and press down to make it stick properly. Now we need to glue these bubbles onto each side of the acetate. So put some glue on the bottom half of one of the bubbles. Then attach it onto the acetate. Put some glue all over the second bubble and then attach it onto the back of the first one. I forgot to mention that if you don't have the time or the patience to create your own figure, you can just use same size stickers and then just stick them onto each other. Line them up as best as you can before pressing down to make them stick together. Leave them to dry completely before adding any details like this head of the bubble. If you want to hide this line on the back of the card, you can create a back piece. Measure the length of the card and add 2 cm, then measure the width of the card and add 2 cm. With those measurements in mind, create the back piece. Fold the back piece in half and put some glue all over the back of the card and attach it right onto the back piece. And don't forget to press down to make the two pieces stick together. Leave the card to dry completely before adding any details. And it's up to you what you want to put on the card. You can add poems, stickers or maybe drawings. That's totally up to you. There are so many ways of creating this card. 
So just let your imagination loose and get creative. Now to the random question of the day, toilet paper, over or under? Personally, I don't care if the toilet paper is over or under, as long as there's toilet paper, who cares? So what about you? Do you care if the toilet paper is over or under? Now I hope you enjoy watching, leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already, and don't forget to hit the bell button below so don't miss out of any future videos. And be sure to check out these DIY videos here if you're looking for more inspiration, and I'll see you soon with more ideas. Bye!